You have the ability to totally transform every area in your life. And it all begins with your very own power of choice. Hi, I'm Linda Watson Call. I'm so glad you could join me for today's episode of Dragonfly Soup. You know, today marks our second season of Dragonfly Soup, and I hope you enjoy these episodes as much as I enjoy creating them. Today, I'm asking you to show your support of this program by clicking the link below. Any contribution to help continue this series will be greatly appreciated. So today we begin with our first Sunday of 2020. How do we feel about ourselves? Did we accomplish everything that we set out to do in 2019? Some of it? Barely any of it? How did you really do? Are you comfortable with your results? Some of us might be giving ourselves high fives, and some of us may be questioning why we fell short. Were there important things on the goal sheet that didn't happen? If you feel great about 2019 and checked off most of your goals, then a big shout out to you. Keep on doing whatever you're doing and continue on your path to make 2020 a great year too. But if you feel that your goal sheet looks like you didn't quite make it, then now is the time to see what needs to change so you can move forward in 2020. Now, I know from experience, when I missed a mark on my goals, there was something that was holding me back. Sometimes it was circumstances, or at least I viewed them as circumstances. Like, maybe the goal was to move to a better home, but other expenses increased and there was no way to save enough money for the down payment. Sounds depressing, doesn't it? Well, it does. Or someone may have had the goal to improve grades. And, well, yes, the grades did get a little better, but there were other activities that took away from the study time and, well, you know, the teacher wasn't able to help, so you know, this person did the best he could. Maybe. Or another person wanted to have a great relationship, and it didn't happen. She broke up with the person she was with and just couldn't find anyone who wasn't a jerk. At minimum, she wanted someone who had the same interests that she had. If we look at these situations, and there are dozens that are very similar to these, there is one common thread. Me, you, and all these people want to be living a different life but instead they feel stuck in their situation. Some of them may even feel that they've lost interest in the one thing that they really wanted to do. Well, we all have choices regardless of our situation. Well, we can choose to do nothing. Or we can say we're looking to buy another house, or we're trying to study harder, or, 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 but in reality, these are just words that are falling from our mouth. I hesitate to call them lies because deep down we really wish that we were doing those things. We're afraid that if we say we're doing nothing, that other people will think less of us, and we don't want that. Do we really think that other people can't see that we're no longer attempting to reach our goals? No, we know they can. And now we start to think less of ourselves as well. We might even slip into daydreaming. We think, if only things were like they were a few years ago. Or, I know this is temporary, my luck will change, and someday, one of these days, it will happen. Or, we can look at our situation and ask, what can I do to change this? Because I don't like this anymore. We can say, I have the power to change my situation and create the life I want to live. Jim Rohn, an American entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker, has said, You have the ability to transform every area of your life, and it all begins with your very own power of choice. Really? Yes. Let's look at some of those individuals in the stories that I just mentioned. Now, the first one was my daughter, who did purchase her home when she was in her early 20s. 
She and I had discussed her goal of getting her own home and discussed what she needed to change in order to get enough money to make the down payment. She decided that one area where she could make a change was in how she spent her food money. She changed her eating habits from eating out three or four times a week to one dinner out a week. She also started bringing her lunch to work instead of grabbing something from the lunch cart. This also meant she had to change her lifestyle a little. Now she had to plan meals for the week, shop for specials, and make her own lunch either the night before or in the morning. Was it hard? Yes, at first. Every time she fell back, she remembered her goal of getting out of that apartment, and that strengthened her determination to get her goal. She purchased her first home within two years and decided that these new habits were really worth keeping. She's upgraded her home at least twice since then. In the second scenario, a decision really had to be made. Spend time on extracurriculars or spend time studying? It was as simple as adding two nights of studying a week instead of going out with friends. Oh, that teacher that couldn't help? That person discovered, okay, a counselor suggested a study group that meant once a week during lunch. The combination of more study time at home and a study group at school really made a big difference. He knew that choices had to be made, better grades or having fun. As it turned out, this person didn't miss out on that much. Once he got back on track, he realized that the changes in his schedule weren't really that big of a deal, and he knew that by getting better grades, he would reach his long-term goal of getting into the college of his choice. Our young lady, who wanted a good relationship, started to look at her choices of activities. She decided that if she wanted to find someone who had the same interests that she had, she needed to look for a group or an organization that shared those interests. What she really loved doing the most was outdoor activities. She hiked, camped, even did some hunting. She found some meetup groups in those categories and started to attend their sessions. Well, wouldn't you know it, she did find someone who was not a jerk and thought the greatest way to spend a summer evening was around a campfire. No one likes changes, but sometimes the choices we make aren't aligned with what we really want to do in life. So, change your choices and then watch how everything will come together for you. Please share, either in the comments or a private message, what choices you may bring to get yourself closer to your goals in 2020. Be sure to click like for this week's episode, and while you're at it, share it with your friends. You might also want to check out our gift shop, where you can purchase items like a Dragonfly Soup t-shirt or other gifts. The link is below. And I'll see you right here next week on Dragonfly Soup. Here's to our transformation and our best year ever.